Believe it or not, Karim Benzema wasn't always the darling of Real Madrid. A 35 million euro signing from Lyon back in 2009, when the striker was just 21, he was expected to become a superstar swiftly, but spent the early years of his tenure in Spain competing for a spot with Gonzalo Higuain, and only hit 20 league goals once in his first six seasons at the club. Frequently linked with Arsenal, Manchester United and Chelsea, Benzema was regularly cited as a weak spot on the Merengue's team sheet, while even his defenders rarely claimed he was world class, instead arguing his selflessness was necessary in a team dominated by brilliant but work-shy stars like Ronaldo and Bale. And when the Portuguese left the club in 2018, it was regarded as an era-ending departure, leaving a hole no one could fill, least of all a 31-year-old exiled by his national team. But handed the keys to the attack, Benzema has blossomed into one of the deadliest strikers in the game, keeping the club competitive while they work out the structure of their next dominant team, returning to the France lineup and playing the best football of his career at a time when he should be winding down. But just how big is the change in Benzema's output? How has his game changed to fit his new role? And are his teammates a help or a hindrance to his greatness? Today, we look at one of the best late career glow-ups in living memory. As much as we didn't anticipate Benzema turning into a superstar in his 30s, we can't pretend that he went from obscurity to the top. The Frenchman has 598 appearances for Real Madrid at the time of writing, a record for a foreign player, and he wouldn't have retained his place in the team over 13 years if he didn't offer the side a lot, especially with other superstars like Kaká, Ozil, Di Maria, James Rodriguez and Eden Hazard failing to earn or retain a place in the club's attack. Before Cristiano Ronaldo's departure, Benzema was a regular goalscorer for Los Blancos, averaging 14 goals per league campaign and was even named Real's Player of the Season in 2015-16, a year in which Ronaldo scored 51 goals and the club won the Champions League. But since the Portuguese left the Bernabeu, Benzema's performances have gone from excellent to world-beating, the former Lyon man bagging over 20 goals in all four years without his former strike partner, and now, in 2021-22, boasting an astonishing 39 goals in 39 games to date, seven better than his previous top mark, all the way back in 2011-12. Incredibly, his record this season includes eight match-winning goals in league play alone, while the last three campaigns have even seen him surpass Ronaldo in the Portuguese's favourite tournament, netting 23 Champions League goals to Ronaldo's 14 since 2019, despite playing just six games more. And though it would be tempting to assume that Benzema's spearhead role has reduced his creativity, that's not right either. With 11 league assists, he's just one away from matching his best ever tally in Spain, helping coax the best out of Vinicius Jr. and putting him on track to make La Liga's team of the year for the fourth consecutive time since Ronaldo left, something he never managed while the spotlight was focused on CR7. Having now passed Alfredo Di Stefano to become the third highest scorer in Madrid history, Benzema could eclipse club icon Raul's tally by the end of the season, and looks set to lead Real to a second title in three years, meaning they'll have won as many league crowns in four years without Ronaldo as they did in nine years with him. Oh, and it's worth noting too that he's doing all this at 34, a year older than the recently retired Sergio Aguero and making him older than 94% of players to have appeared in the Spanish top flight this term. So the scale of Benzema's achievements should be clear, but how exactly is he doing it? What has changed about the veterans game? Let's take a look at the stats. If we had to sum up the change in Benzema's game post Ronaldo, we could do it in one word, freedom. Earlier this season, attention focused on Ronaldo's pressing numbers, which ranked bottom of the Premier League by some distance, but the superstar was never a hard worker off the ball, sitting bottom of 363 La Liga outfielders for tackles attempted per game in his final year with Real. So it fell to players like Benzema to make up the shortfall in defensive effort, and the striker produced, racking up 15 pressures per game in 2017-18. But as soon as the number 7 left, Benzema's burden was eased, with his pressures dropping to 13.5 the next year and since plummeting to 9, while he was also required to spend less time on the wing as Ronaldo made runs into the centre, his dribbles per match sliding from 1.6 to 1, conserving his energy for involvement in the most dangerous areas of the field. With their number 9 staying high, Real began looking for him more often, with 60 passes aimed at the Frenchman each game, up from 49 before. And with more service came more shots, Benzema going from a relatively poor 2.3 attempts on goal per 90 in 17-18 to 3 the next year and now to 4, close to the career-high levels he managed during José Mourinho's tenure in the Spanish capital. 
and more telling than the raw numbers were the locations. Having taken 75 shots from outside the box in the 6 years before Ronaldo left, Benzema has managed 89 from range in under 4 years since, shot distance overall rising from an average of 12.9 yards to 15. Essentially, he now has license to try his luck for the first time in a decade, and while that means the average quality of his efforts has decreased, with his average XG per shot dropping from 0.17 to 0.14, the sheer volume more than makes up for it, with XG overall soaring from 0.45 per 90 to 0.8. But as his assist record shows, the change wasn't as simple as Benzema moving from link-up forward to poacher. Compared to other elite strikers, Benzema profiles as heavily involved in play, completing 36 passes a game, twice as many as Robert Lewandowski and far more even than Harry Kane on 19 passes per 90. And though his number of passes is barely up on the figure he managed when flanked by Ronaldo and Bale, the value of Benz's passing game has gone through the roof. 2.1 chances created each game matches the best seasons of his Madrid career, while he's nearly doubled his passes into the penalty area from 1.6 to 3, and is hitting new levels for progressive passing with 4.8 such balls a game, placing him in the top 1% of all forwards worldwide in both categories, as well as the top 2% for expected goals assisted per 90 minutes with 0.3. For context, the same as Bruno Fernandes or Rhys James. So Benzema is defending less, shooting more, on the ball more and empowered to take risks when he gets it, with the result that Real average an unbelievable 2.4 points per game when he appears compared to just 1.8 when he doesn't. And when you look at the team around him, his development becomes even more impressive. To some degree, the numbers lined up to make Benzema's shift from workhorse to point man look starker than it was at first. In 2017-18, the Frenchman only scored 5 league goals for his club, massively underperforming his 14 XG, and though he bagged 21 in La Liga the next year, that tally came from 19 XG, only a 5 goal difference, and mostly down to the fact he played around 800 minutes more, with a nearly identical rate of 0.5 XG per 90 in both seasons. It's worth acknowledging the role of penalties too, as Benzema went 8 years without taking a spot kick after leaving Lyon, but has netted 4 pens a year since 2018 and an incredible 7 this term, working out to nearly a third of his 25 goal record in La Liga. But even with those caveats, Benzema has steadily grown in influence despite Real Madrid being far from their best. Having scored 94 league goals in 2017-18, they got just 63 the next year, meaning Benzema went from a 15% share of their total output to 27%. And though his mark of 4 shots per game now falls short of his highest at Madrid, 4.4 back in 2015-16, the team then was an irresistible tsunami in attack, the forwards contribution representing just 23.5% of their attempts on goal each match, compared to 26% in the current side. Put simply, Benzema has lifted his level in a club which has sunk into mediocrity. As good as Vinicius Jr has been this year with 0.6 xG per 90 second best in the Blanco squad, that would only have ranked 5th at the Bernabeu 5 years ago. And while 8 players then put up over 0.5 xG a game, now just 3 Madrid stars do, making it no surprise that the team is on track to net under 80 league goals for the 4th season on the trot, having beaten that mark for 11 consecutive campaigns before that. In that context, Benzema's achievements become even more remarkable, the veteran dragging Real Madrid through what should have been a lull in their ability to compete, keeping them respectable in Europe and potentially delivering the club from the Ronaldo era to the Mbappe era. Underappreciated for too long, at least this golden twilight of Benzema's career ensures that his greatness is finally being seen for what it is. So that's our take on Karim Benzema's incredible season, but what do you think Real Madrid will look like with him and Mbappe up front? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll never miss an upload. We'll see you next time.